So I'm sure you guys all noticed that, speaking of orbits, there's an orbit of flies and parasites, and I hate to say this, this sounds so bad, and don't, I'm not, I know people are going to take this out of context, but whatever. White trash, okay? White trash. There's a whole community of trash, white trash, on the internet, okay? <laughs> I say white trash because it's an actual thing. It's like a, it's, I don't, when you say white trash, it's not about skin color, it's like about, it's like a cultural thing, okay? So, like this piece of shit who just sent a super chat right now. That kind of mentality. There are, unfortunately, we have to share the planet with human toilets, with just, in Arabic, they call it hara, crap. There's just a group of people, I don't understand where, listen, let's play a game of it's none of your fucking business, how about that? So, what my husband and I, if we're really married or not, none of your effing business. How we consummate our marriage and what we do in the bedroom, none of your business. I'm gonna live my best life, I am, but I like to bitch about things when I see things that are ridiculous, okay? How much I make, how I pay for my trips, how I pay for my food, how much I spend on food, what I put in my mouth, how much I weigh, none of your business, okay? This, they're all hillbilly morons. He sits there on welfare or disability or whatever he fucking cries about. And he, huh, super. <laughs> I can't stand people, like, I'm sorry, I don't care how, I believe in God and I want to be a good Muslim, but I, I can't stand stupid people. I can't stand hypocrites and I can't stand, I just can't stand it. I don't care, I guess I'll go to hell then, I don't care. So, do you, like these people who have, like, they have children. Do you not have, do, can you not take them to the park? Do you have nothing better to do with your life? Like, see, I don't get it. I don't get it. I really don't. These people who apparently have fulfilling lives, they have families, they have beautiful children that they need to nurture and grow, and they're sitting there bullying fat women on the internet. Get a life. Number one, you're disgusting because all you do is judge fat people from behind a screen. Like, I don't get it. Like, when, oh, I just can't, I can't. These people are idiots. I don't give a shit if you think I'm 800 pounds, if I'm 900 pounds, that I'm round, I'm fat, I'm obese, I am fat. She's not funny. How is she funny? She's funny if you're a lowlife with no brains like them. What's funny about making fun of fat people? What's fun? What's funny about that? Exact Hazel, you're a thousand LBs. <laughs> Who cares if I was? What the fuck does it matter how fat I am? What does it matter? Hello? Who gives a shit? I know it looks like it bothers me. It, the only thing that bothers me is how stupid people are. Like it bothers me that they're stupid. Down, Yaba. You, your girlfriend that you're with right now that you're scissoring has called your children ugly and unfortunate looking. Okay, her children are prostitutes and you have the nerve, nerve. Her, her kids don't even want to have anything to do with her anymore. She's a piece of shit. And you have the nerve to talk about my life and my weight. Aren't there more important things in life that you should be doing? Hmm, I guess not. Okay, Joni, go ahead, go leave, I don't give a shit. If I, this is the thing, people pretend to support me, but the minute I turn around and talk about other, like defend myself, you get mad and leave, goodbye. I don't care, I'm never gonna kiss anyone's ass. I don't give a shit. Yeah, her kids are like, we're like, she was laughing about her kids being in a brothel and having an overdose on drugs. They're white, tr they're trash people. I don't care if that sounds judgmental. Are you kidding me? That's hypocrisy. All they do is judge me every day. So I'm sorry, but yeah, when somebody judges, makes a, a living out of judging me on stupid shit like that, um, I have a right to put you under the microscope as well. I'm not talking about children, Lynn. Again, another one with no brain in their head. I'm talking about their parenting. You know why? Because I'm sorry, but somebody who's apparently has kids and is like bullying other people online all day, what kind of example is that? Like, where are her children? I'm a little concerned. Where are her children when she's doing this disgusting shit online all day? I don't know, it's just disgusting. See, you're just proving, thanks for the super chat, you're just proving another low life stupid comment. Funkle, <laughs> are you projecting? Because you sound inbred yourself, trust me. Gary, inbred. Yaba, inbred. Hillbilly, inbred. Deliverance, 101. Fucking <laughs> re-re- Oh, I'm sorry, they're retarded. The R word when I grew up, it meant stupid. It had nothing to do with people with disabilities at all. Things just change and I don't know. Everyone is canceled for something stupid. Oh yeah, I'm sure my dad's my uncle. <laughs> like, oh my God, I can't, I can't. I don't watch reaction channels. I don't. Yeah, I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> I think I have a reason to be. I mean, people have to eat. Whether you're fat, whether you're 1300 pounds, whether you're 100 pounds, you have to eat. Okay, so no, I'm not monetizing. What do you mean I'm monetizing my addiction? I have to eat anyways, right? So, what do you call the people who are using my content every day? They're monetizing it, they're exploiting me. So is that any better? You have to eat, so why not? Why can't I eat on camera? That's discrimination, why not? Who cares, just because I have trouble with food? That's not a binge, I know what my binging is. Jeez. You're all cowards and pussies, that's all you are. You're an uneducated hillbilly bunch of idiots. All of Gore World should just be nuked off YouTube, they're pieces of crap, criminal lowlife trash. I don't care, like people don't, I love myself, I think I'm beautiful. My, I have a hot husband who thinks I'm beautiful. I don't have to invent having a boyfriend. You know what I mean? Like, I traveled across the world. All of these people just sit there in their stupid, ugly-ass avatars, like dummies. Uh, the stupidest thing I've ever heard of Fungle. <laughs> I think uh, Yaba's projecting that. She's the biggest inbred. Gary, too. He's from West Virginia, no offense, but... Um, yeah, I have a right to comment on 
somebody being Muslim and encouraging adultery. That's a bit different. Ew, and what kind of loser, like Gary, he's a man. How is your wife attracted to you? Like, where's your testosterone sitting there making fun of a woman's fupa? You're freaking disgusting. Ew, I don't know, you're just gross. I'll talk about a man's testosterone. I'm sorry, are you talking about my man, who looks like a man? A hairy, handsome man, compared to uh, Gary Unfarted, who looks like a wet sack of dough? Why is this such a big point of contention? Like, what does it matter to you? Why are you so obsessed? Do you not know that all of Goreworld collectively weighs 3,000 pounds? How about you worry about your effing selves instead of me and Amberlynn? How about that? Oh, shut up the friggin' religious police. What's that? I'm defending myself and saying the F word once in a while? Pfft, whatever. Goblin. French fried goblin. Where's your fucking way in? You have no place to talk, you friggin' pelican neck. Honestly, this woman is huge. Hides behind a crappy avatar. Sounds like a smoker of 800 packs of cigarettes. Has the nerve to talk about my weight. You have no fupa balls to get on the scale, but you have the nerve to judge me. They're not married. There's no possible way they could be married on a visa. Well, guess what? We made it happen. Where did I talk about kids? Yabba's a piece of shit. Sam and Yabba are piece of shit parents. I talked about their parenting. And you know what? If you have kids, you are too. Sam's kid stripping is the same as doing only- What? Oh, please. Get a life. Oh, my God. No, my mom doesn't like me doing that, okay? At all. Her? She was, like, making jokes and celebrating it. I'm sorry, but if you're a good parent, your kids don't become prostitutes. I'm sorry. I don't care. You can fight me on that. And just because I don't have kids, like, anyone can spread their legs, okay? Being a parent is not biologically having a child. That's not it. I'm sorry. Anyways, my opinion won't change. You're all trash. And, um, you need to look at yourselves and go eat shit. Hi, SoCal! But no, my mother was a very good mom, actually. And doing OnlyFans, what, I showed my boobs on OnlyFans? Whatever. It's not the same at all. My karma is um, moving to this beautiful country, planning on traveling the world with an amazing husband, and who cares if I'm fat? I'm still traveling. You don't know me. If I even sense a person's not interested in me, I lose interest like that. Whatever. See you. I'm not going to waste my time with someone like that. What burns your ass that I have a hot, loving husband, but you need to get the F over it, okay? Oh my god. Like, jealousy. I can't get over it. He has a lot of thirsty women who think that they're going to, just because they're thinner, he's never, if you look at his Instagram, he doesn't even add, never since I met him unlike loser like I, I know he's so different I'm just that's my karma having dealt with what I dealt with for two years with a piece of shit this is my karma good karma one woman uh I don't even like he showed me like one he's like what the fuck and he like blocked her one woman like I was I was checking his messages I'm not gonna lie <laughs> and one woman's like bending over and like thinks she just because she bends over like number one he, like I'm pretty sure like men love like women who respect themselves Every woman thinks just because they wear a thong that, that, that a man is going to find that attractive. Ew. No. Why are you people obsessed with the Red Room? You don't even- it's not even Salah. You don't even have any proof of that. Okay, I just want to like make fun of everybody one more time and then I'm going to be a good Muslim. <laughs> Alright, let's see what all of the reaction channels look like, okay? Gary Unfarted looks like a... melting guppy. A melting blobfish. We are all human. That's subjective. <laughs> Tian Sass looks like Reverend Kane from Poltergeist. It's uncanny. Alex's shook looks like hamburger helper grease. Zachary Michael looks like that kid from Beavis and Butthead that always had that winger t-shirt. Poppy looks like the teacher from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory that freaks out at, at, at uh, Charlie for only- You only ate two chocolate bars! Kanye looks like a, a stripper in her 50s. <laughs> no, he looks like Poppy in a wig. Yeah, it looks like a cabbage patch doll. FFG looks like a fucking garbage pail. What was the name of her? Snotty Sally? <laughs> okay, guys. I'm so tired, Courtney. I'm just gonna pass out. Alright. Well, thanks for being this long. It's been like three hours and a half. I haven't done that in a long time. Only because Sally's sleeping because, you know, when he's awake, we do things or whatever. That's, that's why I can't believe there's no way that people who are in relationships stream for more than like an hour or two. There's no way. I don't know. Good night. Good night, everybody. Safe stream. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you.